Good afternoon. A breezy afternoon to you this afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at the Shepherd Center at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And I'd like to invite you to come over personally and meet us with a we always have the coffee pot going, and it is good coffee. Today is Wednesday, September the 4th, and there has been a bit of a change in the weather. There's a cold front has been producing showers and thunderstorms all over the Midwest, and this unsettled weather pattern is widespread, and the scattered showers and thunderstorms will be seen as far as the Mississippi Valley uh, to the Ohio Valley and the Western Great Plains. So it's quite widespread. And we will see a very warm highs in the 80s and 90s today in the plains and in the valleys. But right now in the square, it is a clear blue skies, pretty clear blue skies as far as you can see, with the winds coming in from the south southwesterly at 25 miles an hour and the they can gust up up to 30 miles an hour, and the, uh, the humidity is a very pleasant 50%. And the temperature in the, within the next six hours, it will um, go up to about 90 degrees. And that sunny and windy pattern will continue as the temperatures go maybe 90, 91 degrees for the high today. And tonight the temperatures will be a pleasant 60 to 70 degrees with a clear blue skies as well. And the relative humidity right at 60% and the winds will fall back some to 15 uh, to 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow, Thursday, there could be isolated thunderstorms as well with a 30% chance of rain and we could see those highs in the 90s and the evening temperatures and night temperatures come down to as low as 59 with the winds um, falling back at 17 miles per hour coming in from the um, south southwest and friday we should see a cooler pattern with the winds coming from the north northeast and that will bring the highs down lower to 76 degrees and the lows at night will go down to the 50s, a little bit cooler with that north northeasterly pattern that will come in uh, on Friday. In our community, we want to wish um, Emerson Shields a happy birthday. So if you see Emerson today, um, be sure to wish him a happy birthday. I won't say how old he is. Uh, and tomorrow, um, we will see Sharon Grisman and Susanna Hildenbrand, both young ladies have a uh, birthday, so please wish them a happy birthday. And on the 20th, it would be Randall Tucker's birthday. If you see these people around in the square, the grocery store, and the post office, be sure to congratulate them. And we want to congratulate the Lady Tigers uh, on their victory in the volleyball. They had a big win over the Owls. Congrats to the Lady Tigers, and I hope that we have many more victories for the season. And on Saturday morning, um, at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. over at Poppy's Pizza, do come by and meet our mayor with, with coffee with the mayor. Bring your comments, your questions, and your concerns and share your thoughts with the mayor. She'll be there between 9 and 11 on Saturday morning, and she plans to do this again next week, Saturday morning. So do come by and visit with the mayor. I know she, she wants to hear your thoughts and your concerns. And on the 25th, um, the Awana program will be starting at the First Baptist Church. Uh, the regular meeting starts at 6.30 and ends at 9, 8 p.m. every Wednesday, but I think this Wednesday it's the start of the program and they want you to come in a little bit earlier for registration. And the awarded program is for children between kindergarten and sixth grade. 
they'll be learning about the Bible and memorizing verses and I know the children of that age would probably enjoy that program. If you have any questions call Roland Broder at 620-792-4899 for more details and that's for the Awana program that's starting up at the First Baptist Church. Uh, mark your calendars again for this Saturday for the Monarch Madness. Uh, call over at 1-877-243-9268 if you need some more information and that is at the Kansas Wetlands Education Center and it's the annual um, Mad About Monarchs that will start at about 9 a.m. and uh, it's going to be quite interesting because you learn to tag the butterflies and before you do that though you have to trap them so they would give you the equipment to trap the butterflies, the nets, uh, those are provided and there's no cost to this and it sounds like it should be great fun. I, I just can't see tagging those delicate um, gossamer wings that the butterflies have, but they have a way of doing it. And this is a, a part of a research that they have been doing for the last 21 years. And so it would be interesting to be a part of a big research longitudinal study on butterflies. Um, and to encourage the, the whole migration of the monarchs and to encourage them to come into your backyard, they will be handing out some plants. And I think those plants are called um, the mil milkweed. That's the name of the plant. Uh, milkweed plants, they'll be distributed to each um, participant. And I said the tagging is free and it promises to be an interesting morning. And the weather is going to be nice and cool. So do come out and um, enjoy that educational exercise. And it's fun for children and adults. Uh, mark your calendars again for September the 28th. The Stafford County Senior Picnic is going to be at the Hudson Community Hall. And it's Saturday, September the 28th at 6 p.m. And it's going to be an evening of fun and entertainment. And just bring yourself because everything will be catered for. Um, and th they will accept a free will offering, but just bring yourself. And call your nearest senior center and have them put you down on a list um, to reserve your place for that um, picnic. So it's Saturday, se September the 28th at 6 p.m. at the Hudson Community Center for the Stafford County Senior. It's countywide. So people from all the surrounding areas can go to that picnic on Saturday. Sounds like it's going to be fun. Oh, well today we have some interesting menus for our seniors. And today over at the Maxwell Center we have chicken and stuffing. Uh, served with capri vegetables and usual condiments of bread and coffee and milk. And um, uh, tomorrow they will serve up some Swiss steaks with tomato sauce and baked potato, mixed vegetables and fresh strawberries and on Friday it will be spaghetti with meat sauce, green beans, toss salad and French bread with some mixed fruit. That's over at the Maxville Center. <coughs> Sorry. And over at the Our Senior Center here in St. John today it will be herb baked chicken with cream peas and potatoes, <coughs> with some fresh fruit salad, and Cook's Choice of a cookie bar or for your dessert. And um, tomorrow it will be smothered steak, mashed potatoes, cheesy corn, combination fresh vegetable salad, and uh, pie. And Friday it's beef stew, scalloped potatoes, zesty broccoli salad and ice cream all very good eating just call up the center before and if you need these meals delivered be sure and call because we they have that service available for you also and a thought for the day 
A friend is a person with a sneaky knack of saying good things about you behind your back. A real friend is a person with a sneaky knack of saying good things about you behind your back. Have a great day.